What is up, guys? Today we're skating as PJ Led, which has come off the bus and also doing a kickflip over an old lady. But we are headed down this way because this is where apparently PJ lives in this game. Here we have it PJ's mansion in Skate 1. It's starting out great. You guys really seem to enjoy the last Skate 1 video we did, so. Oh my god, look at that combo. Today we're trying to do that all over again. Maybe not talk as much about the game because I kind of did that since it had been at least a year since I've played it. So today we'll just be enjoying the game a bit more. Just seeing how well it flows. Yeah, that's what I was trying. A little nose grind pop out. We haven't even started exploring this place, but it's also just a lot of fun just skating outside of it. <laughs> oh my god, and the game just feels so good. I know I say this every single time. It's the sounds, it's the colors, it's just... This game just feels so good. And I think what I like about this place is it doesn't really seem like... It's really meant for skating. That hubba is difficult to skate. It doesn't really look like the normal kind of hubba you would have. It would just look like something beautiful you have outside of a mansion. Not really meant to get in clips. <laughs> Even though we're kind of dropping off, it still feels pretty cool to get these tricks here. That was insane. And the sketchy landings too. Yeah, I also saw this. This is a fun mani pad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We also got one to this side. Kind of starting low and then just growing. BJ. Oh yeah, there is one thing I gotta get used to in Skate 1 compared to Skate 2 and 3, and that is the fact that you can actually, like, just wind up before actually popping. You can see I'm starting to go left. If you do that in Skate 2 and Skate 3, you can only spin 180. You kinda gotta start spinning as you hit airtime, which is kinda weird. I kinda feel like it makes more sense in Skate 1. And that was just a, a crazy clip right there. Huge pop out though. But okay, let's finally hit the backside. Hey, hey, hey! We have a pretty nice bank here. Yeah, fake Gazelle flip. There we go. Let's place a session marker because I don't want to be in here for too long. But hey, we got a bowl. PJ rocking it with the 540. As we know from real life. Yeah, just like how we know PJ. Now we do have these hubbers here. Oh man. Chris Cole, you messed me up bef completely before the hubber there. Must be nice being a two time Sodi. And here comes P Rod. P Rod telling a teammate to watch where he's going. I see how it is. Kick for backsmith. Yep. And Boosenitz is here. Everyone's here all of a sudden. I guess we should be skating, you know, this part over here. Not like that. You don't have that much run up for it, but I mean, this one is over a double set. Now, what if we go this way? We got a little snake run? Is this a gap we could try? Oh, that was actually close. Maybe we'll come back to that in a future video. I don't know. I kind of just want to chill today. That was easy. But yeah, we do have more bowl action this way. What if we place a session marker like right here? Can we then like pump down here, get some speed and air into the bowl? Okay, 
impact was too big. But we could do that and almost hit... I think that was Jason Dill. Oh my god. Did we just do that? No, that's not Jason Dill, is it? Oh, we got some sort of varial flip. Indie grab backflip. Was that over Eric? Ah, I didn't want to go back in. I just messed up boosting its perfect front feeble. I am so sorry. And now I'm like snaking his trick. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my god, this is a pretty good line. Uh, that was that was overkill. But I like the fact that you can go up to three. Get a, a switch or wally to whatever that was. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of sketchy right now. Let's fix that. Can we like disco flip up? Okay, it didn't really look like a disco flip. But the uh, switch heal. To back 5-0. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Tray flip up a 3 star. Most unrealistic thing of the video so far. Nolly Vero flip up a 3 star actually makes way more sense to me. Ooh, what do we have this way? Let's just keep it going. We got some uh, very mellow banks here. Curved ledge. Beautiful. This is a nice, like, ledge. Drop down to a many spot. Oh. And then we made it back here. All right. I kind of like the look of that ledge to a uh, many we got right here. Also got kind of a bad frame rate. Could also go the other way. Yep. Okay, I don't know if we tap there, but they did count it since it changed colors the whole game. We get Mike Mo's Ender in pretty sweet into like a Fagy Manny. I don't know. Should we count it? Oh, we gotta hit all three of these ledges in a line. But I just noticed we got kind of like an A-frame with hubbers on the sides here. Oh, that's a sweet spot. And then we're going way too fast for these. We're just going in kind of a little uh, curve here. Tiny little push. Let's see it. What? That took us so much to the side. That was a beautiful, beautiful nose blunt. Let's just place a session marker here. Now I'm kind of set for these ledges. <laughs> really bad ending, but we got it. I want to see if I can like tray flip all of them. Ah. So you can't go too fast, then you won't even get the second tray flip, but you can't go too slow either. What is happening there? I know I should have tray flipped off, but I kind of just wanted to do it on and then in between all of them. You know what? I'm already regretting. Um, uh, we, we got to do it with the tray flip off as well. No! Oh my god! Finally, well, that took a while. I actually think that is going to be it for this video. That took a very long time.
Also, I think the grind splines of the benches are kind of messed up, so that might be why I was actually able to do it, but sometimes it would still kind of pull me over to the side. Either way, it's done. If you want more Skate 1 videos, put it down there in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll have it good. Peace out.